again, Jesus continues to give us instruction concerning what life is all about. He said, although one can be rich, but one's life does not consist of possessions. We live in a time that the society has structured us in a way to uh, have that desire, that tendency to possess, to acquire, thinking that life consists in that. However, it doesn't mean that there is something wrong with you know, going to work, making money, earning, and all of that. But in the midst of all of that, not to neglect to live in the moment, that is what consists of life, or life consists in. We can learn from the past, prepare for the future, but we have to live in the moment. Think about it, the moment we have our beautiful uh, kids at home in school. That's a precious gift God has given us. And for us to learn to spend time with them, to enjoy the moment. We have had examples of some we know, those we don't know, and some we read from news and have heard about. No, life is not certain, you know, all of a sudden we disappear from this place. And all of the things we have acquired goes to who? We may not, we don't even know uh, how those things will be used by those we left it for. So why don't we spend the now with our loved ones? And the things that we ought to do now, why do we defer them to the future instead of doing it now? That is life. God himself has given us the greatest gift of himself, his son, Jesus Christ. We heard it from the first reading, first letter to the Ephesians, that God, who is rich in mercy, has saved us by giving us the gift of his son, Jesus Christ, who has come to show us the way, and who has come to show us what life is. The question for you and I is, do I long for life? What do I seek? What do I seek? In the Gospel of Mark, chapter 8, I think, 8.36, the Word of God says, What does it profit a man, and of course a woman, to acquire, possess all of this, and then lose sight of heaven, or his soul, or her soul? So while we go on with our daily endeavor to acquire, to earn, to make life beautiful and better, let us not lose sight of the thing most important in life, that is the kingdom of God, creating beautiful memories with people around us. These are the precious gift God has given us in Christ Jesus. May these words of the scripture in all its fullness find a place and a home in our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen.